I guess it's another day of Frankie Boy doing things he doesn't want to do. So let's get started. Uh, first, I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, I have my windows blacked out uh, so I could sleep a little better. It's a very dark room. Uh, I have this uh, thing called a grounding strap uh, that I got uh, from earthing.com. And they also have these on Amazon really cheap. Uh, you pretty much just uh, plug this thing into the bottom outlet of your wall and it naturally grounds you. Uh, because all the house electrical is grounded and this gives you free electrons from the earth. Definitely check out my video on that. It sounds like woo woo BS, uh, but it actually works. Uh, this is actually uh, a weighted blanket uh, from Dozology. Uh, that's really been helping me sleep lately. Uh, so thank you to Dozology for sending me that. I'll put their link on my Amazon shopping. Guys, I never like you know promoting stuff, but... Uh, a weighted blanket was something I really was thinking of getting on my own and coincidentally I had one sent to me uh, so if you guys have an issue sleeping have never tried a weighted blanket it really helps if like you get cold at night and it's really nice I also have an eye mask and some uh, some sleeping uh, earplugs uh, that I use every day that you can check out on there uh, I put a towel a uh, fresh towel on my pillow every night uh, to prevent acne because when your mouth rubs on your pillow uh, you get a bunch of mouth bacteria on it uh, so by sleeping on a fresh towel every night uh, it helps keep my complexion clear uh, so that's all my like sleeping tricks uh, but I just woke up it's about 7 15 uh, I got to bed really late last night at like 1 30 a.m. and we got to run down to the production facility and fill quite a few orders today uh, so I'm just gonna put some clothes on real quick uh, get out the door and get down there uh, but I, I always hydrate in the morning, and this is one of the most important things for me. Uh, so I take, uh, you know, whatever, usually reverse osmosis water. Uh, lately, I've been doing Pellegrino, and I just drink about, like, two or three cups of water, uh, like 250 to 500 mils. I'm going to get dressed, and I will see you guys outside. This day hasn't even started yet, and I am already exhausted you know my legs are fatigued my back hurts my shoulders hurt not feeling so good but you know don't really have a choice do I uh, thankfully it is a little bit hazy outside uh, so I don't have to worry about missing out on any sun later uh, that being said uh, maybe we'll get some sun later this week but uh, let's head over to uh, the kitchen right now and get this over with trying to get hit by a car today, but what's new? You know, it's exciting. In New York, you get to smell something different every day. Today, it smells like someone vomited White Castle on the side of the street, uh, but we have just gotten at the processing facility. Uh, so Adam has probably been here since uh, six o'clock. It's about uh, 8.15 right now. And so, Adam, I guess, I'm assuming you can guess the main reason we're doing another Frankie series meat <laughs> vlog, right? Because no one is reliable, basically. That's true. Not even yourself. Yeah, not even myself. That, that is unfortunate. <laughs> so, Morning. So that, so that was supposed to segue into uh, him complaining about, uh, you know, some farmers and some uh, vendors not being reliable. But, hey, to be fair, I did say I would be here a little bit earlier. Uh, so... And that did not go as planned, uh, but we have a lot of orders to fill and we're gonna be very busy probably the entire day. Uh, you know, probably until about uh, three or four o'clock. Uh, so I'll try to get some footage throughout, uh, but uh, just to give you guys an idea of our setup. Yeah, we got a bunch of boxes. We got all of our orders here. All of our product yesterday uh, was processed. And some of you might be wondering, like, can't we get here earlier and do everything at once? But you know, the dry ice shipment arrives at a certain time. Uh, the shipping company picks up packages at a certain time, uh, so it can be pretty difficult to time things accordingly and uh, make sure we don't run into any issues. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a couple hours. It is 2.15. How many packages picked up already? 25 grams. Uh, from FedEx, right? That's right. Yeah, we don't like FedEx. Uh, so we have about 100 more packages that still need to go out. Uh, this is the most orders we've done in a day uh, between 
uh, 125 and 150. So you guys can't say we aren't working hard to uh, get you your orders. Uh, Adam's just wrapping up and finishing the other orders. Uh, I was in and out of the freezer all day. What did we want to talk about? We wanted to tell people that the ground beef is now in smaller sizes. We got ground beef in one pound packs coming out. We got... Um, As we said, the pemmican is wrapped much differently now. Pemmican's, uh, yeah, so that it doesn't leak. It's cryovacked. We got more wagon coming from uh, grass-fed farms. We're going to be going for a higher marble score. So the rest of these packages are going to be picked up at 4 o'clock by UPS. Uh, that is the scheduled pickup time. So our margin of error is pretty low, uh, as I spoke about earlier, I know for getting these boxes out in time, cold with ice. And one of the main reasons I'm doing this vlog today is because I wanted to update you guys on, you know, what's going on, how we're filling orders. Uh, all of the orders will be caught up by early next week. You know, we were speaking earlier about the distribution problems and sourcing some product. We have a bunch of unreliable farmers and, and distributors and vendors that aren't getting us what we need when we need it. Uh, so we're sorry about that guys, but everything will be sent out early next week at the latest. We're going to catch up on everything. Brain is back in stock. We have veal liver back in stock. Uh, we just added a prime New York strip as well as a New York strip package. Uh, so if you haven't checked out frankiesfreerangemeat.com, definitely give it a look. High quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price. Let's get out of this hellhole. I just got off the phone with my grandma. Uh, she wasn't sounding right, and I asked her if she was taking her statin again, and they gave it back to her. So basically, my grandmother's been taking a statin and a blood pressure lowering medication on and off for years uh, because, you know, her health deteriorates when she takes it, she goes back off of it and she feels better and she's coherent. The doctor puts her back on the drug again and then it gets worse. I don't know why she's taking this drug. I don't know what's going on. I I've talked to my mother and father about this many times, how she shouldn't be taking the drug. You know, I, I drove over to my grandmother's house earlier and I went inside, just said hello. You know, I was, you know, I mean, I was just trying to figure out what was going on and, and she wasn't a hundred percent. So, uh, I, I took a look in her medicine cabinet and she had the statin. She had a, a blood pressure lowering medication and I looked on the script. I found out where the doctor is. So, uh, I'm outside the doctor's office right now and I'm going to go in and speak to this fucking doctor because my grandmother is 90 years old. She should not be taking statins. You know, she eats very healthy. She exercises. You know, she's lived a long, happy life. I I'm not going to see this happen and not do anything about it. So uh, it it's really irritating. You know, one, one part of me wants to, uh, one part of me wants to just let it go, whatever the fuck, you know, conventional wisdom. Uh, you can't do anything about it because no one listens to me. The other hand, uh, we'll see. Hopefully the guy's here. So I'm going to go inside right now and uh, we'll see what he has to say. Uh, this dirt bag is not here today. So uh, I'm going to go up to my parents' house. Uh, well, there is a cat hanging out over here. Not a care in the world. I guess I'm going to have to come down tomorrow morning uh, before I head to the processing facility. I didn't actually know this doctor was so close to my grandmother's house. So I, I mean, it's a little bit out of the way. It's on the other side of the city, but uh, I should be fine. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted on this, but uh, the outcome is not going to be in this video. We are at my parents' house, and I had some time in the car to think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go uh, back to uh, that doctor's office. I'm going to uh, see if he wants to talk to me, and I'll just explain to him, like, listen, uh, if you don't want to take her off the medication, then I'll make a video about how statins are bad for you, and I might mention your name in it. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, uh, but I'm gonna grab some food from my fridge, and uh, and then we're gonna have something to eat, and then I'll probably uh, bring my sister to the gym later, uh, like I usually do, even though she hasn't been uh, too enthusiastic about going to the gym lately. You guys can probably hear my parents' in the background, but uh, looks like I got my food delivery. Uh, but we're gonna have some stuff from the other day, uh, so I'm just gonna throw some uh, chopped steak on the grill. And that's all we'll have. Hey. Do you want to tell people the only thing you've cared about for the past two months? What's in your hand right now? Hi. That's right. Bathroom. I'm obsessed. But I have the best son in the world. 
and buy his meat products. They're fabulous. You did a better job than Gina. Speak of the devil. Gina, it's only 4.45. You're already eating dinner? I'm hungry. Go off my back. What'd you have, what'd you have for a snack? Nothing. You didn't have a snack? No, I was in my room the whole time waiting for mom and you to home. You sure about that? Yeah. I'm sure. That's the uh, the beef hot dog with the beef bacon that we made uh, last week, I think? Yeah. It's so good. Oh, plenty more. Alright, so I'm going to... I'm gonna warm up my grill in the back and then we'll burn, uh, try not to burn my eyebrows off. Got some shoulder chops on the grill. I'm just gonna get a little color and mainly warm it up because all of the stuff was sitting in the fridge. And I have some nice fatty ground beef uh, that we're gonna throw on the grill and warm up as well. The goal is for the inside to be completely raw, outside nice and flavorful. No salt today. I'm gonna see how my taste buds are. Uh, if I start eating the meat and I crave salt, I will add some salt. Uh, but the last few days, I haven't really been feeling the salt. I'm always running in and out a lot. So what I do is, I'll throw my meat on the grill. Then I'll run inside, do something else. Come back outside. And this usually happens like four or five times. Uh, these burgers are a little hard to, you know, to flip uh, without, you know, getting the crust to peel off. Uh, I don't have my spatula out here. Uh, but the secret is just use like a moderate to high heat. Be patient, give it some time, and use a spatula. Don't use a pair of tongs. So there we have the shoulder chop, nice and brown, crusted. I forgot to show you guys earlier, I'm wearing like four layers of clothing because it is so cold in that freezer and I'm in the freezer all day just packing orders. So I have my, my sweatshirt, I have long johns, I have a thermal shirt, and then I have a tank top underneath that. So literally four layers all day. I'm only wearing one pair of socks. Uh, in the winter, I'll probably wear more pairs of socks. Uh, but now I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So I don't know, man. The carnivore diet uh, gives me a really high heat tolerance. And when I am well rested in the winter, I also have a pretty high cold tolerance. Also, I was supposed to do some production for Frankie's Naturals. Uh, we had a product issue with the moisturizing cream spoiling. Uh, but... Some of the stuff that I ordered isn't going to be here till tonight. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take it a little bit easier the rest of the day and I'll just make the moisturizing cream tomorrow. Uh, so I won't have to do any production today for the hygiene and cosmetic products. Uh, but I definitely have to do that tomorrow. And uh, I I've been shipping out orders every single day. So way too much work. Do you guys hear the dishwasher and dryer in the background? It sounds like a jet engine taking off. It's ridiculously loud. Uh, so I'm just going to enjoy this meal. Uh, you know, it's just muscle meat and fat, really high quality grass fed. You know, so we're getting a balanced amount of all the nutrients we need. If you guys want to hear me talk more about, you know, the meal, the nutrition, stuff like that, I've done many carnivore day of eating videos. If you do want to understand why a high quality animal foods based diet is the healthiest for you, definitely check out my other day of eatings. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this off camera and then I'll come back and I'll update you guys on how much I ate. So this is the cooking temperature on the meat. Uh, as you can see, this steak is raw in the middle. Ground beef also raw. Very little flavor because the meat is super fresh, but we have that nice crust on the outside that helps it along a little bit. I finished pretty much everything. A very lean meal, uh, but when you have a high lean body mass, you know, your body really craves protein. I didn't eat this part. I don't really like this part of that type of roast it doesn't have a good flavor so i saved these for stock and soup i just throw it in a bag in the freezer man my hair is a mess i actually took uh, the layers off because i started sweating really badly when i was eating this meal uh, i think i'm going to go upstairs and i'm going to lay down for an hour or two when i'm in a high emf environment electromagnetic frequency environment you know from cell phone towers cell phones car radios all this type of stuff it really takes a toll on me i'm pretty sensitive to it uh, so having a meal high in protein, high in B vitamins, and then resting for an hour or two in a low EMF environment, you know, whether it's at my parents' house or my apartment, that's how I feel better. Uh, so hopefully I'll feel good in about an hour or two, then we'll go to the gym. Uh, it's just, it really takes a toll on you. I mean, uh, you guys could check out my EMF video, which I'll link at the end here. You know, literally, you know, some people like me, you know, gets headaches, stomach aches, can't tolerate it at all and other people are fine and don't even notice symptoms. I was originally planning on laying down for an hour or two and taking my sister to the gym, 
but I got stuck on the phone with UPS for an hour. I was so stressed out and exhausted. I tried to lay down. I couldn't actually fall asleep. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, my cortisol is really high from not sleeping last night and, and not putting any salt on my food. So I'm going to eat something else. I'm gonna put some salt on it. Uh, then I'm going to head back to my apartment and try to get some sleep and see how that goes. Uh, I mean, hopefully I can fix my sleep schedule soon because I, can't, I honestly, I can't take this shit anymore. This is ridiculous. Uh, you know, I, I like to, I would have liked to show you guys, you know, me going to the gym, uh, maybe me going out with my sister, then I would have, you know, driven back home. But at this point, I just have to, you know, upload this video. I have to edit it. Normally, you know, I would spend time during the day, you know, filming some stuff. Like I'd be filming like two or three videos a day if I could. But when I look tired and really exhausted, you know, half the comments on my videos are like, oh, you, you know, you have such bad bags under your eyes, you need some sleep. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you know, I, w I wish I wasn't so sensitive to, to the high EMF environments and uh, all of this stuff. So, uh, lesson learned, uh, don't take Accutane. Uh, don't put on, you know, 20 pounds of muscle that you have to maintain. I don't know. Uh, what I did, but I don't think I've ever really slept a good a day in my life, so ever since I was a kid anyway. So I'm just gonna grab some steaks out of the fridge up here, and then uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Almost forgot, if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Uh, it really helps my videos get shared and get more viewers. You know, as we mentioned earlier, you can check out frankiesfreerangeme.com uh, if you'd like to support me further. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health or fitness consultations, uh, probably not advice pertaining to sleep, uh, you could shoot me an email, uh, frankatefano at gmail.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Have a good night.